Welcome. I heard that that was your first vlog. Wow, that was that was a pretty hot topic for a first vlog. It's crazy. Um, one thing that's incredibly important. <laughs> well, first I want to explain that my left hand might be a little bit weak. Um, I'm also in the car, so hopefully I won't be car sick. Anyway, um, so I was watching, and yes, that person um, that was sim um, I agree that it was disrespectful, and I um, appreciate you going forward with him and saying something. Some people would say, you know, that's none of your business, just leave it. But I really want to commend you for going and saying something to him. Also, uploading your story. So, you know, to oppress a coda is not, is not a good idea. I don't think that's acceptable. You know, I suggest that you check your student handbook, read over, and um, see if it says anything about that kind of situation, how to handle something like that. Also, um, I, if it's, if what is said in there is weak or not clear, I suggest that you change something and do something about it. For your, you know, your university, you do sometimes need to board approval for something to change a policy, but that really is a big issue in our world. It's going on all over. You know, people in deaf space not respecting sign language or to be oppressive, you know, or, um, you know, thinking that, that it's okay. And what I do is my responsibility and my, my issue, but it seems to be very disrespectful. So, um, thank you. I completely respect you. Um, you know, something in a college or university like that, you know, it's a privilege. And I feel like sometimes, or it shouldn't be a privilege, and I feel like sometimes it needs to be changed. You know, and sometimes you need to approach it. You need to be honest, and you need to stay true to the policy and keep things going. I also think that, you know, as far as punishment goes, I don't think we need to be super strict on punishment. You know, maybe just a warning or... You know, maybe extra student work or something of that nature for a punishment. Um, I also think, you know, that first and foremost, we need to respect deaf people. And, um, you know, that whole 15 acres thing is exactly right. In the whole world, there's 15 acres, this one institute, this deaf organization, these deaf people, you know, deaf conventions, things like that, deaf access you know, to discuss deaf people and ASL and deaf babies, you know, how important ASL is for us. And that feeling of unfairness, it needs to be brought up and we need to be treated as equals. And in that area alone, you know, and, but not, I'm sorry, not in only that area, but in other areas as well. You know, I think that maybe sometimes we need to negotiate a solution for things like this. Or it will become worse. So I say go ahead, you know, and inspect these different ideas. I fully support you. I look forward to hearing what happens. You know, I expect you to push your boundaries. I expect you to start the discussion. Do something. Change something. Change something for the better. And people will respect ASL. We People will become fair as deaf individuals, we will be fair to hearing or equal to hearing people.